part three of the renovation. First time seeing the house since it's been primed for me. Em's already seen it though. It's a bit of a surprise. Whoa! Holy shit! Wow! Oh my god! Well, that's what they worked on. This is that beam we got put in by the absolute alcoholic. Actually, come up pretty good. Awesome. So the painters have done the ceilings and the cornices. Whoa! Spare bedroom. Looking good. So we're going to replace the windows, but with the paint they look good. So much lighter in here. It's just, it's just another world. Oh man, stoked. Em started doing a bit of landscaping here. Disturbed a, um, some sort of ant's nest, so we've had to stop. Gonna get some pest guys in to do a bit of a terminating. Bit of a fail with the paint situation. Him and I got given the wrong coat, so we ended up with a creamy colour for the wall instead of a off-white kind of grey that she was hoping for. Um, so we got to the house and the colour was wrong. Um, and now we've got the right colour, which is Marina Half, and the painters have been added more rework but it's looking a lot better now so we're much more happier. So pretty much the paint is finished minus the uh, window framing and so on but all the rooms are finished so we're actually trying to um, get the electrical in for the kitchen. Which as we can see, bit of a disaster so far, but we're getting there. Um, big issues, a lot of these walls sit directly on big timber beams, so we can't actually drill through it easily. But we're getting there. So we've got a couple of ports here. Failed at that one, um, couldn't actually get a cable through here, so I've had to come here. But it's going to be hidden behind a, um, a cabinet anyway, so it's not, not the worst thing. So the plan today is just drill through these holes, all these pieces. Um, maybe drill, yeah, one, two, and three. And then we've got um, access for the cable, which is this guy. And then clean all this up. Give the floor a vacuum because tomorrow these are getting sanded, which is exciting.
get all these things in, but we've got power here now, which links to our dishwasher. Um, got to put another hole in this panel for the cooktop. This guy here, we're going to change out and it's going to be our isolator switch for our cooktop. And then here we've got the towel oven and the microwave. And I'm just tossing up how to do it. Um, we need a quite a heavy duty cable. I don't know if, it, if it's better for it to come through the wall or we can just come up straight through the floor. Obviously the floor is the easiest. Um, coming up the wall is horrible. It's absolutely horrible. I don't really want to do that because I have to take these panels off but we've got the skirting board here. So it's not as easy as that. You've actually got to pull it back and drill down. Fun. All right, that's the end of a uh, pretty hard day. Um, put in all the cables for the kitchen. Um, the yellow ones here are for the stove and oven. So they're pretty hard to get in, but they're ready to go once we actually buy some cable. But the rest of these here for other things, power outlet, uh, range hood, microwave, another outlet for the fridge, dishwasher, got that one in, which is a good effort. And now it's just time to clean up. And next time, there'll be a kitchen here.